quick disclaimer, the techniques shown in this video are for educational purposes only. Performing these actions in public or without authorization is illegal. This is a simplified demonstration. For in-depth details about this, please refer to the article link in the description. Use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Now imagine controlling devices or sending wireless data with these tiny powerhouses like the card pewter or the M5 Stick C plus 2 with a CC1101. And that is what we're going to do using the Bruce firmware in this video. So stick around for the practical demonstration of their RF capabilities. Okay, so let's start. As you can see, I have the hack RF here so that you can visualize the signals that are being sent. And I have the card computer with the R4433R attached. I'll just plug it in, wait for it to boot. <laughs> okay, so click enter and let's go to RF. And make sure under config that you have the correct module configured. Let's go back, click our apps, can copy. And what we can do so that you can capture everything, click down and you can go filter, click enter so that it will filter everything. Okay, so just go back and let's send a signal. So you can see there's one that is captured. You can click down again and you can save the signal or as raw. Okay, so you can click save signal and it is save. Now, we will try to replay it, the save um, code. And what we're going to do is let's remove this and put on the transmitter. Okay, that is the RF433 transmitter. So let's go back and go to main menu again. Click RF and under custom sub, under SD card, there you will see the latest one that you have captured. And let's just click it. And as you can see, it had been sent successfully. Now the, now, the next feature that I'll be showing you is the spectrum. Now, here you can see there is a certain waterfall that is happening. This one also has that. And if we go to spectrum, and I have the wrong module. Let's plug in the receiver module. And let's click, as you can see, it can see the signals that are being sent, a visual representation of it. Now, another one would be, okay, it rebooted. <laughs> let's wait. And let's go to RF again. And another representation would be the square wave spectrum. And let's see. Okay, as you can see there, There are the square spectrum that are being sent. Okay, so the next one that I'll be showing you is the signal chamber. Okay, so let's go here. And, okay, so it is working. And let's go to J signal jammer full and check how this one will change. Okay, so that is how it will look like if it's jamming. And if it is somewhere near, okay, so as you can see, this one, it is not working. Okay. If it's a little near, oh, it's still not. Okay. So that is how signal jamming works. So if it's here, it will, oh, it's finished. So let's try again. So if... I have this in the middle, it will not. And if I have it here, 
it should be able to send the signal there uninterrupted. Okay, so let me show you the advantage of using a CC1100 with this M5 stick C plus 2. Okay, so let's go here. And first, let's need to double check if on the config you are using your RF module, your CC1100. Okay, so let's click that. And you will see there the CC1100 at the top here. Okay, so let's click scan and copy. Let's go mode raw. Okay. Okay, so let's raw. Okay, close menu. And let's try to capture a signal. Okay. Let's go here. And the advantage is without changing the module, you can replay the signal. Let's try it out. Okay. Now, now another advantage of it is that when it comes to signal jamming, since this one has an antenna, it is much more powerful. So let's go to jammer full. Okay. So as you can see, it is now jamming. We will try it out. And it is not working. And even if it is in the middle, unlike the RF4322, in the middle of the transceiver and this, it still cannot send out the signal. And that's how powerful it is with the antenna. And I hope the demonstration has shown you how easy it is to communicate using RF with small devices like this. The Bruce Firmer has made it very, very easy to start playing with RF. And if you have any questions, suggestions for future video, please leave them in the comments down below. So, till next time, my fellow Hakista.